Hi folks, welcome back to 8.10 partial fractions. So in this video, we're gonna go through a few more examples just to make sure we're getting the hang of this. Um, and we're gonna start right here with example number three. So I have f of x equals 37 minus 11x over x plus one times x squared minus five x plus six. And so what I wanna do first of all is make sure that my denominator is completely factored. So I get 37 minus 11x over x plus 1 is good, that's a linear factor, but x squared minus 5x plus 6 can be factored into x minus 3 times x minus 2, okay? So I want to make sure everything is fully factored, and now I see that I have three linear factors. And so what that means is I'm going to have a constant over the first factor plus a constant over the second factor plus a constant over the third factor, okay? Now I'm just leaving so much space because I wanna go ahead and be able to put in my common denominator at this step. All right, so what do I need to multiply the first term by to get it to have the same denominator as the other side? And that is x minus three times x minus two. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply by that on the bottom. And if I do that on the bottom, I have to do that on the top as well. All right, what about the second fraction. What do I need to multiply that by to make it have the same denominator as the other side? Well, I'm gonna need to multiply by x plus one times x minus two on the bottom and then the same thing on the top. All right, last fraction. How do I make the last fraction have the same denominator as the first one? Well, I'm going to need to multiply by x plus 1 and x minus 3. So I get x plus 1, x minus 3, and there we have our setup, okay? Now, as soon as the denominators are all the same, we can get rid of that denominator and create an equation with only the numerator. So we end up with 37 minus 11x equals a times x minus three times x minus two plus b times x plus one times x minus two plus c times x plus one times x minus three. Okay. Now, from here, I'm going to go ahead and pick some numbers for a and or for x so that I can get rid of some of these um, letters. So let's start with uh, 3. Okay, if I plug in 3, let's see what happens. So let x equal 3. I'm going to get 37 minus 11 times 3 equals a times zero, that whole thing is gonna go to zero, plus b times three plus one times three minus two, plus c times, there's this, which is gonna go to zero. So by letting x equal three, we get rid of a and c, which means that we can find b. So we get 37 minus 33, which is four, equals b times 4 times 1 is 4. This gives us b equal to 1, okay? All right, what other numbers might be nice to try? Well, I kind of scanned through my factors, and I think maybe let's try 2. So let x equals 2. So I get 37 minus 11 times 2 equals... Let's see, a times, that's gonna go to zero, plus b times, that's gonna go to zero, plus c times two plus one, times two minus three. 
Okay, very similar to the first one. A lot of things are gonna drop out. So 37 minus 22 is gonna give us 15. And I get 15 equal to C times three times negative one. And so I get a C value I get a C value of negative five. Okay. All right, so let's pick one last X value. Let's let X equal negative one to take care of all the terms that have a negative one in them. And we'll get 37 minus 11 times negative one equals A times negative one minus three times negative one minus two plus b times this is gonna go to zero plus c times that's gonna go to zero. All right, 37 plus 11 is gonna give me 48, which equals a times negative four times negative three, and that will give me an a value of four. All right. So I found all three of my constants, so I can finish this problem by putting them back in to have a final answer. So I'm going to end up with 4 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x minus 3 minus 5 over x minus 2. And that is my partial fraction decomposition for number three. All right. Let's go ahead and move to... Oh, actually, we're not going to do number four. Okay. We're going to move on to example number five. All right. So we've got this question here, f of x equals 5x minus 12 over x squared minus 4x. So let's go ahead and factor our denominator. So 5x minus 12 over x times x minus 4. That's going to split into a over x plus b over x minus 4. All right, let's save space for our final answer over here. And we'll come back and fill in our A and B. All right, so let's create an equation where we make a common denominator. All right. So this first fraction is missing x minus 4, so I need that on the top and the bottom. The second fraction is just missing an x, but I also need that on the top and the bottom. And once I've got the denominators the same, get rid of them. Rewrite your new equation. 5x minus 12 equals a times x minus 4 plus bx. All right, let's pick some numbers for x. Let x equal 4, and that will give us 5 times 4 minus 12 equals a times 0 plus b times 4. 20 minus 12 is 8 equals 4b, so b equals 2. All right, let's let x equal what might be a good number. So 4 made this one 0. What's going to make that equal to 0? Just 0. So let's try x equals 0. So 5 times 0 minus 12 equals a times 0 minus 4 plus b times 0. So I'm going to get negative 12 equals negative 4a, and a is going to equal 3. So I can go ahead and put 3 in for a, 2 in for b. So 3 in for a, and 2 in for b. All right. 
Let's go ahead and do one more question here. Let's take a look at number six. So I need to take this denominator and I need to factor it. So x minus six, x plus two, and then I have my x plus 34 on the top. Now I'm gonna split this into two fractions a constant over x minus 6 plus another constant over x plus 2. And I'm going to save space for my final answer. Okay, so when we find our a and b, we'll put them right in there. All right, so let's set up an equation so that we can find our common denominators. So x plus 34 over x minus 6 times x plus 2 equals a over x minus 2 plus b over x plus 2. All right, it looks like the first fraction needs a set of x plus 2s and the second fraction needs a set of x minus 6s. I do a quick check. Everything in the denominators are the same, which means it's time to get rid of them. All right, what do we have left? x plus 34 equals a x plus 2 plus b x minus 6. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick x equals negative 2, and then I'm going to pick x equals 6. This term goes to 0 plus b times negative 2 minus 6. All right, I get negative 30, nope, I get a positive 32 equals negative 8b, or b equals negative 4. All right, let's let x equal 6 to get rid of the b. 6 plus 34 equals a times 6 plus 2 plus b times 0. All right, 40 equals 8a or a equals 5. So I go back up to my answer. I'm going to put a 5 over the x minus 6 and I'm going to put a negative 4 over the x plus 2 and that finishes example number 6. All right, folks, we're going to stop here for this video. Come on back for one last video with a few more examples. All right, see you there.